This is so cute. <laughs> Mutual grooming. Aww. Well, Guster and Henny are bathing. And we'll um, jump into Exodus 28. I'm, I'm holding the camera. It's kind of hard. It's hard to hold the camera. I complain a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm holding it with my my right arm, the broken shoulder arm. Oh, keep praying for me. It is getting slightly better. Okay. Well, welcome to this little channel where we're reading through the Bible and discussing. So we're on Exodus 28, and I think we left off at verse 8. So I'll, I'll pick up at verse 9. Try and there, that's a little more comfortable. Okay, so verse 9 And you shall take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel. Uh, I'm just going to pause right there and <laughs> add a little side note. The last video I mentioned, um, it's interesting to me that um, you know the the tribes of Israel are engraved on these stones um, in verse nine, and then also um, elsewhere in the in earlier in the chapter, um, they're engraved on lapis. Um, but I mentioned in the last video that it reminds me of Revelation, I think it's chapter 21, where um, the New Jerusalem is described, and the, of course the, per, the, fa the, infam the famous pearly gates, but what's, you know, I think a lot of us are familiar with, with the phrase, oh, the pearly gates, you know, it's, you think of heaven when you think of pearly gates, but but as Revelation describes it, the gates are actually um, the the twelve tribes of Israel. Their names the the names of the sons of Israel are engraved in the um, in the gates. You can um, you can look at the other video. I I cite the reference in in the previous video. But anyway, sorry tangent. Okay, let me go back to verse 9. Okay, and you shall take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel, six of their names on the one stone, and the names, oh, sorry, I have a low battery. That's not the Bible, that's me. So this will probably be really short. Maybe it'll only be two verses. I don't know. I seem to be having trouble getting through the verses. Oh no, indecency. Let me shift. Okay, there. Okay, now it's okay. This is a, a PG rating. Okay, verse 10. Six of their names on the one stone, and the names of the remaining six on the other stone, according to their birth. As a jeweler engraves a signet, you shall engrave the two stones according to the names of the sons of Israel. You shall set them in filigree settings of gold. And you shall put the two stones on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as stones of memorial for the sons of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord on his two shoulders for a memorial. And you shall make filigree settings of gold. And two chains of pure gold, you shall make them of twisted cordage work. And you shall put the corded chains on the filigree settings. And you shall make a breast piece of judgment, the work of a skillful workman. 
Like the work of the ephod, you shall make it. Of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen, you shall make it. It shall be square and folded double, a span in length and a span in width. And you shall mount it, I'm sorry, take three, verse 17. And then I think I have to end this because my battery is running dead. I am so sorry. I'm not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> let me try this again. Okay, verse. Let me just get this verse in and then, um, and then we'll take this up tomorrow. <laughs> and you shall mount on it four rows of stones. The first row shall be a row of ruby, topaz, and emerald. And the second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold filigree. And the stone shall be according to the names of the sons of Israel. Twelve, according to their names, they shall be like the engravings of a seal, each according to his name for the twelve tribes. Okay, let's stop there. Verse 21. And what I'm going to do, let me see... Um, we stopped at verse 21. I'm going to jump over and hopefully I have enough battery life to Revelation 21 because I actually want to read that instead of Luke right now because it reminds me of, I hope it doesn't cut off on me. Okay, I'm going to try and read fast. trying to turn the pages fast. Okay, this is Revelation 21, verses 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her brilliance was like a very costly stone as a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall with 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels and names were written on them, which are those of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel. There were three gates on the east, and three gates on the north, and three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. And the wall of the city had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. I'm going to keep reading. And the one who spoke with me had a gold measuring rod to measure the city and its gate and its wall. And the city is laid out as a square and its length is as great as the width. And the, he measured the city with the rod, 1500 miles, its length and width and height are equal. And he measured its wall 72 yards according to human measurements, which are also angelic measurements. And the material of the wall was jasper and the city was pure gold like clear glass. The foundation stones of the city wall were adorned with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation stone was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysopace, the eleventh jacinth, the twelfth amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates was a single pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold like transparent glass. And I saw no temple in it for the Lord God, the Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Okay, I'm gonna stop there at Revelation 21, uh, verse 21. I just wanted to read that because it it reminds me of what we're, what we're reading in Exodus with the jewels and the stones and the engraving of the 12 tribes of Israel's uh, names on the stones. Anyway, I'm rambling, but I just saw a, an interesting link there that I don't think I've seen before. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm really rushing and rambling because the battery's going to die. All right, that's all. God bless. Right. Goodbye.